Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Hey, Greens! Today I'm going to make Mariah Elizabeth's dream come true. I don't know if it's her real dream, but let's pretend it is just so I can feel good about myself. Let me give some context. In a previous video, Mariah Elizabeth used my craft kit and she made the most adorable figure ever. And even though her character was absolutely adorable, she said in her video, I did have a lot of grand plans. I was thinking about designing some sort of like rainbow alien with big resin eyes. I thought about doing like some sort of intense dessert creature. But then I experienced step one. And then I experienced step two. Two. And I realized this may be a little more difficult than I expected. So as you can see, because there are so many different kinds of materials, Mariah wasn't sure how to go about it to design a dessert rainbow alien with big eyes. And you know what? I'm sure if she had more time, she would have totally made it the cutest thing ever. And so many of you in the comments highly recommended that I make Mariah Elizabeth's sculpture come to life. So I have to give you the credit for this idea. But I'm going to add the nerdy crafter twist because what is Mariah Elizabeth without desserts and uh, squishies? So not only am I going to be using my craft kit in order to make the figure she wanted, but I'm also going to use squishies in order to make it a little bit of a hybrid of her creation and mine. For those of you who don't know Mariah Elizabeth, she is one of my good friends here on YouTube, and she makes the funnest and silliest videos when it comes to crafting. So I'm pretty sure if you enjoy my humor, you're definitely going to enjoy her. I will link her down below. Shameless plug. For those of you who are looking to get your own, not another craft kit, my own craft kit that I made, <laughs> this is your last chance to grab one. This kit has everything you need, except batteries, in order to make a character that looks like this. And yes, the mold is handmade by me. And then you can customize it in the numerous multitude of ways that you, the community, has customized it too. And I am so proud of those of you who went out of your comfort zone and tried something new. So if you are interested in getting your own, I will leave the link down below. And reminder, we are emptying the warehouse, so once they're gone, they are gone. And also, this is your reminder that our biggest merch drop ends December 18, which means you have less than 10 days to grab your own either of Broken But Beautiful, My Brain, Your Brain, I Am The Darkness, I Know What I Said, This Is My Happy Face, and a self-care mantra, I will eat, I will hydrate, I will do my best. Again, all of these are available, link down below until December 18. If you shop from Instagram, you get free shipping. And for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. We are wacky grains of salt in the salt shaker family. Click all notifications while you're there. So, the first thing we're going to do is make our character and we have all our supplies. Yes, I don't, don't at me. I partially clean my supplies. I don't want to spend time cleaning my supplies if I could just use them again and it's just good enough. For me, if it's good enough, it's good. But before we do that, I'm going to listen to my own instructions and start by putting the mold together. So this is what the mold looks like. We have two halves that make a character, but in order for it to happen, we absolutely, positively must make sure that this part here goes inside that part over there. And I know some of you just want to smash them together, but that's not how we do things. You don't just go... You gotta start by aligning them and just gently wiggle one side at a time until they just kind of go into each other. Keep this held. This side's nice. Down here needs more work. We need this together and just wiggle. Voila. It's done in real time too. Now we put our rubber bands. Obviously the more rubber bands the better because it keeps it secure like a saw. And if you want to be extra you can put one from top to bottom. Voila. Very secure. And now we're gonna fill the plaster up until the 200 mark over there. And that's a go. Very nice. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. In your go. And for the water, I highly recommend just pouring the entire thing in there. Then you take your spatula, which Mariah likes to do this. Ow. Oh, it's very crusty. And then we go mix it until there's no more lumpty dumpties. 
just keep mixing and we don't have much time so it's we don't have more than five minutes so we gotta we gotta get a milky creamy consistency and perfect this is what we want and now we're just going to take our funnel let's not jam it in there because we want a better control and just pour it at an even consistency voila and if you're extra careful you can definitely pick it up move it around a little bit to try and avoid as many air pockets as possible it will not remove air pockets because I mean chemical reaction and then we can finish filling it up and just keep checking every so often to make sure you do not overfill in case you have too much so let's keep going perfect measurement now because I don't want to wait 45 minutes you know to record I'm just, I'm just gonna put you over there while you do your thing there I did prepare this one during a live stream. By the way, if you're interested in live streams and you like to hang out, why not join me on my Twitch channel, which is Nerdy Crafter. I'll leave the link down below. We stream every other day. So let's go and see our little character. And you pull one part easy, and the other part you need to be very gentle. Just to wiggle, wiggle the arm. Ta-da! Very cute. But Jackie, what is your idea? I am glad you asked. Here's the character that we made. Oh, is that a cat hair? Oh no. Oh no, this cat hair is in there. <laughs> so, uh, looks like Mariah's sculpture is gonna have my cat's fur in there. Opie, you're gonna have a friend. So my idea is to make Mariah's idea, which is basically a dessert alien, while also doing a squishy makeover. So, so what I want to do is cut a hole inside this cake and then have this character sitting on the inside. So it's going to be basically an alien coming out of a cake. You know, like those surprise cakes where just people pop out of it? Kind of like that. However, the legs are too big in order to shove it into a smaller hole. So we're gonna do some cutting. And the only person I've seen Seen cut this with a power tool is so craftastic, so I am taking that idea. So my brother is helping me out by using his own power tools to cut the bottom part of the legs. Needless to say, I gave him a few just in case there were casualties. Warm. <gasps> Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. But I guess the first thing we're gonna do is squishy roasting. This squishy was sent to me by one of you. I know that many of you want me to do more squishy unmakeovers, but this time we're actually going to be fixing it. There's so many things wrong. Where do I even begin? I mean, to start off, all the seams are very lumpy bumpy, so there's going to be a lot of fixing for that needed. The sprinkles are flat. I do have to give it to them though. They do have some, at least, rainbow-esque homage to the sprinkles. And then I'm not even sure where the frosting starts nor ends because we have a little bit of layers, but then it kind of droops down below the 3D part. So what are we doing? And of course the strawberry has injuries. I didn't know you could injure a strawberry until today. Oh, and I just realized that this strawberry isn't even fully painted and this chocolate drizzle is flat. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on that we're gonna have to fix. And so the first thing we're going to do is cut out and equalize all these parts that are sticking out. Normally that wouldn't bother me too much, but these really are sticking out quite a bit. Next, because I want to plan the character being on the inside, I figured it would be the right time to actually remove the strawberry on top. We're gonna have a use for it later on. And now we've reached the fixing all the holes, right Burp? Many of you have been asking, he is doing well, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, I figured. He just doesn't always want to come and record because he has other things to do. He has Burb business. He even has his own movie. So if you haven't watched his movie, I'll link it down below, right? Uh -huh. I'm just saying. Whoa, I saw you wanted to smack me, don't do it. Before we go on, let's talk about today's sponsor and huge supporters of this channel, HelloFresh. For those of you who don't know HelloFresh, they are America's number one meal delivery kit and I have to say I am so happy to partner up with them because in addition to being sustainable, yes, they cut down on your food waste by at least 25% and their packaging is already made from recycled content, HelloFresh has so many delicious recipes. So whether you're looking for family friendly, pescatarian, or even carb smart, HelloFresh has you covered with so many different varieties of foods that it really gets me out of my own rut because I tend to do the same thing over and over. Let's try something. Roasted chickpeas and bulgur salad. Roasting the chickpeas, bulgur time. 
Time for Chappy Chappy and Hermie Gerd. Not only does it smell good, but even visually with all the different colors, I'm so excited, especially with the feta. Look at all these colors. Mmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. The balance of flavors, oh my god, that's all I'm eating today. And yes, because everything is pre-packaged and many of the recipes are between 20 and 30 minutes, you save time. And even to make the holidays easier, they have a limited edition holiday hosting box that delivers everything you need to cook up a family feast with no planning needed. So if you're interested in trying your own HelloFresh meal delivery kit, go to hellofresh.com, use the code nerdycrafter14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. Thank you HelloFresh for being huge supporters of this channel and sponsoring today's video. So we're going to take the puffy paint and fill in those little gaps that just don't look good on the actual squishy. And also let's not forget our side strawberry. It's like a side piece. I know exactly what I said and it's exactly what I meant. <laughs> right Burp? Uh huh. Yeah, you know me. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, that was a hit. Oh, you break my heart. Why well, you gotta break my heart to make me cry Burp? I've only taken care of you and loved you. Well, fine, whatever. And so once that paint is dried up, I know I'm probably doing things completely backwards, but I do it my way. You can't tell me what to, look at, tell me what to do. I do it my way. I went ahead and took the sanding paper and sanded it as much as possible without ruining it. Hopefully this is going to help us keep the actual paint on there without any slippity slips. Why do I have, why do I have foam in my mouth? Why? And now begins the fun part, painting. Despite the original design being cute. Baby, you're so dirty. I feel like having a pink cake is just not what I want. I don't want frosting drooping on top of frosting. So I decided to go with a batter, well, cake tan color for the bottom part. And I'm going to do my best to do the Mariah Elizabeth way, which is shading and texturing with paint, which I have no idea how to do for, for someone who says. When I was watching Jackie do it, I was like, oh, okay, easy. But then actually trying to do it, it's not that easy, Jackie. It's not that easy. So as you can see, with a paintbrush, I just can't do it. I don't know how she does it, how she blends those beautiful colors and makes those gorgeous gradients, but I'm having a hard time blending and shading with just simple tan colors. It's not easy, Mariah. So of course I resorted to using a foam thing, just a tapa tapa, because that's easier to actually make a kind of gradient. Ta-da! I know it's not perfect, but it's mine, dosh gun darn it. Now that the cake is done, I figured it was time to go in for the strawberries. For this one, I am taking my jacquard paints because they're also made for fabrics, minus the actual 3D effect, which is exactly what I want since I don't want the strawberries to be lumpy bumpy. And I find that using a ball tool in order to paint pieces like this basically make it so that I have to put fewer coats. So here is our little strawberry also painted. Is it perfect? No, but how do you manage to make the perfect pattern for a strawberry? I do not know. Or well loved if you want to be nice about it. And now at this point, we need the frosting. So I'm going to take my slick paint, since it does have texture, and I'm going to go ahead and put it around the strawberries and the top layer. This process was nothing special. It was just, just long. That's all it was. It was long. But now, sprinkles. These here are handmade sprinkles with Palmer clay. Nothing different from what Mariah Elizabeth uses. It's very standard. And because Mariah really likes to make sure that her sprinkles are not just sprinkled on top, but we put one at a time. That's basically what we're doing now on the frosting white part. We're not gonna go too crazy. We're gonna use them sparingly. And now we wait overnight. The next day. I think this is a major improvement. Oh my god, that is so squishable. Way better looking than what we started with, because we started with this. And I love that we have the sprinkles a little more sparingly and then a more concentrated on top. But now it's time to go ahead and sculpt, which means we're gonna use Mariah Elizabeth's best friend. Oh no! Ah. Oven bake. I'm scared. Ah yes, polymer clay, my favorite thing ever. 
Before we get to sculpting, Mariah said this. I was thinking about designing some sort of like rainbow alien with big resin eyes. I know she really wanted to use this from my craft kit, so what I'm gonna do is make the largest eye for the character. I don't know if that's exactly where she wanted to go, but I feel like if we're gonna go with a desserty type alien, we might as well go all the way. And the process for the UV resin is super simple. For those of you who don't know what resin is, it's basically a liquid when you harden it with the UV light. It turns into a kind of glassy plastic. And now instead of going with just purely black colored eyes, I'm gonna take the brown paint and just darken it slightly with the black so it has a softer, sweeter look, a little more akin to desserts. And now I'm going to do what us sculptors do best, sculpting. Although Mariah did call us clay people, sculptors, sorry. Was clay people disrespectful? No. And you know, as a matter of fact, even though at first I was like, nah, that's not offensive. I 100% think being called a clay person is offensive. <laughs> I mean, as long as I get to call you paint people or squishy person, that works for me. <laughs> Despite the fact that Mariah thinks that her sculpture is very meh, I thought it was absolutely adorable, considering she's really not a fan of sculpting. Since we went with the bigger eyes, I really wanted the face to be facing forward, not on the side. I didn't want it to be too bug-eyed. We wanted to go with the idea of still kind of cute. And now that we have the eyes in there, I wanted to make it also look like the almond shape of the typical, stereotypical alien that we always see. If you want to remove any kind of fingerprints or not even parts, just a smidgen in here and just clean it up all in the same motion don't go up and down just all in a nice same motion and once i have the general shape of the face ready and looking pretty cute i went ahead and added two antenna antennae antennas on top but in order to avoid it going floopy flops in the oven i decided to put little bits of wire i mean there's a reason why these wires are included in the kit is so that it helps you keep a little bit of integrity i mean not personal integrity um, i need to work on that i mean like the sculpture integrity <laughs> And at this point, I'm really happy with what it looks like. So I think we're just about ready to put it in the oven. But before we put it in the oven, we need to pray to the baking gods. <laughs> Dear baking gods of Evermore, please protect my piece from cracks, burns, and fallen limbs. But also, stop breaking my stuff! Eventually. And so it seems like... The baking gods have blessed us. Let me know in the comment section below if you are like me. Do you let your paint palette dry just for the sheer satisfaction of doing this? Of course I didn't peel it off entirely because I'm Jackie, but there you go. Now we have it. And so I basically went with a pastel kind of green for this cute little alien. I did debate making it a cake color, but I was like, you know what? We need that little extra spzails. A little contrast in color. And plus, Mariah really likes pastel colors. Let me know in the comment section below also if you would have done it a cakey color or do you like green? Once the full body was done, I went ahead and painted a cute little mouth. And now to glue it on top of the cake, I debated what would be the best method. I said maybe epoxy glue, so let's see if that works. And ta-da! Once our little alien is on there, I was like, okay, you know what? We need more frosting, and because Mariah said, I thought about doing like some sort of intense dessert creature. We're gonna put some more frosting on its head and sprinkles. But of course, let's not forget that strawberry we put aside earlier. The next day. And now we're going to make it so that the eyes are a little shiny because this is a little foggy so I'm just gonna put a drop of this spread it yes look at the difference and then I'm gonna go ahead and harden it look at the eyes difference I said look at it and here she is in all her glory of course we had to give her a cookie and I really think a name that could be befitting to her is pudding I don't know why she could have been some kind of cream or dough name but I think pudding suits her pretty well let me know in the comment section below if you think I got her just right for Mariah because I mean Mariah did say I thought about doing like some sort of intense dessert creature and this is the most desserty thing I have made I'm actually pretty impressed that it did stay in place and it didn't fall off. I did put quite a bit of glue. <laughs> but also leave me suggestions in the comment section below. What name do you think fits or do you think pudding works? If you want to watch more crafty videos, make sure you check on the top. And if you want to watch a review of fidget toys or advent calendars, check down below. And don't forget, if you want to pick up your own craft kit, I'll leave the link also in the description box below. Until then, I will see you greens in the next video.